Okay, we are gonna find this sum right here using these properties again. And in case you're wondering what these properties mean, let's take one for example here. Let's say we have a sum of i cubed from i equals one to seven. What that means is one cubed plus two cubed all the way to seven cubed. And if you wanna know what that sum is, well, I guess you could type this whole thing into your calculator, but imagine if this was 700 instead of seven. That would be a lot of numbers to type into your calculator. So we have these formulas, and the formula here says, well, if our upper limit of summation is n, then this is what the sum is going to add up to. Our upper limit of summation here is seven, so our sum is gonna add up to seven squared times seven plus one squared over four. That's seven squared times eight squared over four. And if you multiply this out, you're gonna get 784. So if you added one cubed plus two cubed all the way up to seven cubed, that sum is going to add up to 784. Okay, I'm gonna erase this. Ultimately, we're interested in these formulas because they help us out with our Riemann sums, which helps us out with integration. But let's play around with these formulas a little bit with this one right here. The first thing we want to do is rewrite the sum. And if we look at 5k squared, we could rewrite that as 25k squared. And then we can split this up into two pieces. We can pull out our constants, and we get this as our sum. Now it's time to use our formulas. Here we have a sum of our dummy variable squared. That is this one right here. Our upper limit of summation is 23. That means n is 23. So we're going to get the sum of 23 times 24, that's n plus one. And if our n is 23, what is two n plus one? Well, that would be 46 plus one, that's 47, all over six. This is gonna be the value of our first sum. Our second sum, from k equals one to 23, is the sum of k, that is this one right here. With an n value of 23, we have 23 times 23 plus one is 24 over two. Multiply this stuff out and that is gonna be our sum. Our first sum comes out to be 108,100 and our second sum turns out to be 2208. Add them together and you get 110,308. Okay, that is it, good job.